Yo, what's going on? This is your boy Michael Posey coming straight from my studio. Uh, I am the first one to give a shout out to uh, Mr. Walter Latham of uh, Latham Entertainment for uh, providing me with this opportunity to be able to speak with you all today. Salute, much respect to you, Mr. Latham. Uh, when Mr. Latham asked you to do something, he's uh, such an influential guy in the uh, industry, you do it. So once again, thank you, Mr. Latham, for the opportunity. Again, my name is Michael Posey, and I am the president, the founder, and the CEO of Impose Entertainment. And what we do with Impose Entertainment, we do uh, music and entertainment. Even we also do visual arts as well. So we pretty much cover the whole spectrum of arts and entertainment. And I just want to give you a little background information on myself. What I want to talk to you today is about uh, being persistent and relentless in your pursuit towards your dreams and your destinies. God has placed in all of us certain gifts, talents, and a certain destiny that we should fulfill. Now, not all of us are um, aware of what our gifts are, but we all have gifts. Uh, just to kind of give you a little background information on myself, uh, I am a singer, songwriter, producer, uh, visual artist, painter, uh, video director, screenwriter. I pretty much do it all. Um, you know, in, in, in entertainment and, and, and in the arts. Uh, those, there were always two things that I was aware that I was able to do fairly well even as a young age and I was a sing and create, you know, do things with my hands like draw and paint different things like that. But as time went on, I noticed that God uh, basically uh, had more things inside of me that I even wasn't even aware of myself until I ran into disappointment and heartbreak. And just kind of tell you, uh, just, you know, kind of starting out from, you know, my early childhood. I am a um, product of a single parent uh, home where my mother actually uh, raised my brother and I. My father left when uh, I was uh, at the age of eight. You know, he left me. And um, just even by me seeing his, through his absence, I knew that um, once I, you know, would get married and have a child of my own or have kids of my own, you know, I don't want uh, a child to feel the way that I felt and, and go without and have to struggle just due to my absence. So that right there propelled me to always, you know, strive harder, you know, because I would see I, I didn't have. So that all, that gave me the strength to want to uh, pursue and work harder to, to, to overcome obstacles. Uh, at the age of, of uh, 12, uh, I was diagnosed with uh, early stages of Crohn's disease, which is a very serious uh intestinal uh, disorder is a very serious situation but they were able to catch it in time uh, you know I overcame that obstacle uh, at the age of 19 uh, one morning I was actually driving home from dropping my mom off at work uh, and I just you know lost conscience behind the steering wheel I don't know if I blacked out or passed out whatever the situation was but I ended up being involved in a five car pileup well I actually um, nearly lost my life I actually something in a sense had an out of body experience uh, you know um, where well, it came to the point to where I even I felt my soul leave my body and uh, I heard uh, the voice of the Lord say uh, I'm not ready for you yet uh, you still have you know yet work there's work that you need to do and when I actually my spirit entered back into my body I found myself actually outside of the vehicle um, you know uh, ambulance uh, the whole thing was pretty a pretty uh, traumatic experience I had to have two operations on my hand to repair my hand. The doctor's even telling me that, you know, you won't be able to play the drums anymore. Uh, I had some damage to my mouth, to my tongue, uh, basically saying uh, my tongue was pretty much almost nearly severed. Uh, the doctor saying you won't be able to sing anymore. It's a lot of different things that I heard, but I remember what the voice told me, the voice of the Lord told me, uh, you're going to be... Uh, you're pretty much not, you're not done. I still have work for you to do. So I overcame that obstacle. I heard the doctors tell me what I wouldn't be able to do, but I knew what I wanted to do. So I said, whatever I have to do to get to that point, I'm going to be, I'm going to do that. So I overcame that obstacle. I started playing the drums again. I started singing again. And uh, I was actually better off than what I actually was when I started out. And just kind of fast forward a little bit uh, beyond that point. Uh, even up to the present day, I've experienced so many different um, highs and even I've experienced even more lows. Uh, nowadays, you see people in the industry, you see they have uh, so many things, they have so many credit, they have so much, you know, um, they have a, a huge status in society, in society and a lot of money, a lot of fame. You say, wow, I wish I had that. But you never know what that person had to sacrifice or what that person gave up or what they had to endure to get to that point of success. 
um, you know, and what it took to get them there. Just know it took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Not only just did it take their gift, but it took a lot of sacrifice and a lot uh, it took a lot of skill to get to that point. And uh, just with that being said. I've had the opportunity to do some things for some very influential people. I had the opportunity to, you know, do some work for Kirk Franklin, uh, The Truth, um, several other people in the industry. And I'm still working with some artists right now in the industry. Uh, and, and actually, the gifts that I'm using right now with these artists uh, were things that I had no idea that I could actually uh, even do. Um, it took me actually running into roadblocks and being denied and, 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 and being turned away to even know that I had to do it. I've always had the mindset that if you, you tell me no, if I can't do it, that just gives me more motivation to learn how to do it. Um, just to kind of give you a little, you know, quick brief briefing of that. Uh, um, I've had opportunities where I saw um, a situation, a door, what I thought or a door to my destiny open up. I got right there to the door. I was putting my foot into the door to walk through it and boom, the door was just slammed in my face. And I'm like, oh God, you know, and this happened so many times. Like, here we go again. But the good thing about that, at the end of that uh, disappointing heartbreak, I always realized that I came up with a gift uh, that I even I didn't even know I had. This It was God's way of telling me. You don't need this person. I rely on these uh, certain people and certain relationships to help me reach my goal. Like I, I never knew that I could uh, actually necessarily write to a certain degree on my own or produce. It took me um, having failed friends, not even just fr friendships failing, but just kind of like friends not being able to help me at that particular moment. I don't think they were being crummy friends or crappy friends. I just think that it was God's way uh, of in a sense molding me and telling me that you're so much greater than what you think you are and at the end of disappointment and heartbreak I, I noticed that I walked away with, with a gift that I didn't even know that I had and now those gifts just don't my, my disappointment uh, I'm using those gifts now uh, in the industry uh, basically to help propel me to my destiny now I'm nowhere close to where I want to be but I'm so much further along than where I actually started and that's a blessing I give all that praise to Jesus Christ. I can't take any credit for any gifts that I have uh, as a singer, songwriter, producer, engineer, anything like that. I can't take any credit for that. And in post entertainment, um, our motto is we own it. Whatever you do, whatever you seek after, own it. Be the best at what you do. Outwork anybody. I have the mindset that you know, I may not be the best, but I'm going to work to be the best so that one day I will be the best while you're playing around while you're sleeping. I'm in my studio. I'm up working. I work so, so hard to the point till I have to, my body just literally gives out on me. And, and, and it should be that way. I'm, not, I'm no different from nobody else. Uh, God created us all the same. We have the same, you know, um, ability to do the same thing. It's just that you have to know how to tap into that source. You have to look inside inside yourself and realize that no, that any type you any time that you you're denied from a situation or you know you're turned away, it's just a short term setback. A lot of times those setbacks can be they can actually work in your favor. So uh, it's not all about you know we always set you know a time. The Bible tells us to write the vision, make it plain. Though it tarries, wait. In that waiting time, don't be discouraged. It's easier said than done. I still have to struggle with that myself because we all said, you know, within two to three years, I'm going to be here, I'm going to be there. Realize it's not all about our timing, but it's more so about the God's timing because God's timing is impeccable. He never makes mistakes and he knows what he's doing. Just lean not to your understanding, but to the understanding, which is Jesus Christ. His understanding is much better and much greater than ours. So I just wanted to encourage you. I hope that the words that I spoke to you today, uh, it helped you out and it, 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 uh, it resonates in your spirit. Never give up. Never let anyone tell you that you're too old to do anything. You're too young. You don't look. You're not tall enough. You're not short enough. You're too fat. You're too skinny. You can do whatever you want to do. Be persistent. Be relentless in your pursuit. Never, ever, ever give up. Um, try, try, try. You never know what you can do until you try. You have to be so relentless in your pursuit that you have to be willing to die for what you're willing to do and to fulfill your dreams and your destiny. And 
that's it. You know, I hope I was able to uh, inspire someone on today. Uh, if you're interested in uh, working with me or doing anything with me, just, you know, check me out. Hit me up. Email me at D-A-S-U-P-A-N-O-V-A -A -A at Gmail. Dot com that's the supernova at gmail.com or just check me out on YouTube just Google or YouTube Michael Posey uh, on YouTube uh, visit my YouTube channel impose and e n t i n c and again thanks Mr. Latham for the opportunity the genius that's that dude so peace out love you